Hello everyone, welcome to this prediction video on my channel and we'll be going over match day 10, the Euro 20 into 24 qualifiers and I'm going to be predicting all the games. I start with uh, Serbia versus Bulgaria. Serbia, they just needed a result to qualify and Bulgaria have, have, have been bad. I'll say they get a 3-0 win. Hungary versus Montenegro. Um, Hungary drew away at Montenegro in the earlier game. Based on the player pool, I think two goals for Hungary is probably about right. So I'm going to say 2-0. And I think Hungary will have enough to keep a clean sheet here. So we go to the next group and that is Group F. Belgium versus Azerbaijan. I'll say this ends in a 5-0 win for Belgium. Actually, I'll say 4-0. And Sweden versus Estonia, I'll say 3-0. So next we go to Group A. And we start off with Spain versus Georgia. Spain, they've definitely been growing. They've definitely been getting back to where they had been in the past. Maybe starting to become a contender for all these Euro this European Championship. Uh, and I think they're going to have a lot of chances this game. I don't think Kavara on his own will be threatening enough thinking this game ends in a 4-0 victory. And Scotland versus Norway. This game will pretty much be a dead rubber. I think Norway will score. But I'm wondering, do I go with 1-1 or 2-1? For a while I've been thinking 1-1, but Norway haven't been playing that well in this qualifier so maybe I gotta give it 2-1 to Scotland. And now we go to Group J. Portugal, Bosnia, Iceland and the first game is Bosnia versus Slovakia. I'm gonna say this is a 1-1 draw. Portugal versus Iceland I'll go for 3-0 and Liechtenstein versus Luxembourg I'll also say that Luxembourg get a 3-0 away win. Up next, we go to Group C, and let's start with the bigger game, or even the other game out of the way first, North Macedonia versus England. I expect a similar story to the Malta game, where they're playing a fairly strong squad, but at some players that they're giving more minutes to. I'm thinking this game is a 3-0 win for England. And Ukraine versus Italy, this will, this will be a difficult one to call. Ukraine played well against England. They also beat North Macedonia as well. In fact, they've, they've been doing well in terms of getting their wins. They've, they started quite slow, but they've been finding their groove since match day two. Even though they did have that slender victory against Malta. But it's, it's going to be a difficult one. And also Italy haven't won any of their away games. As of recording, they've only won once under Spalletti. I think this will be a close one. My thinking is this will be a 1-1 draw. Which would qualify Italy to the Euros. Group E. And the game we'll start off with is Albania versus the Faroe Islands. We say Albania win this 3-0, which that would, would guarantee them top spot. And Czech Republic versus Moldova. Normally, you'd have, you'd have said they'd be capable of winning about 3 or 4-0. Moldova have overperformed. Czech Republic, to some extent, have underperformed. I'm thinking this is going to be a 2-0 win for the Czech Republic, which gets them to the Euros as well. Group H will go to next. There's two dead rubbers to get out of the way. Northern Ireland versus Denmark. You know what? I think Northern Ireland might have enough with their, with some set pieces. But Denmark should get a win this 2-1. Finland versus San Marino. 4-0 to Finland. And Slovenia versus Kazakhstan. This is the big one. Kazakhstan have done well in these qualifiers. Winning away in Northern Ireland and Finland was massive. Beat it in Denmark as well. Slovenia winning in Kazakhstan was also impressive. They definitely have a clinical number nine as we saw in the game against Finland. My thinking is this game will be 2-0. Slovenia being at home, they're going to have chances. Kazakhstan defensively have proved that they're good. 
but I just expect Slovenia to be the clinical team and I've got them to qualify to the Euros alongside Denmark. And now we go to Group B where we look at Greece versus France. Greece is not an easy place to go to to get a result. France, I expect, will also be trying out some players. But I don't expect France to lose. I thinking is this will be a 1-1 draw. And Gibraltar versus Netherlands, I say 5-0. And now we go to Group D. Croatia versus play Armenia. Well, if Wales do beat Armenia away, then this has definitely got to be a must-win for Croatia. Croatia were uh, shocking in the last two um, qualifier years that they played. I think they've got enough to win. And I think they'll keep a clean sheet as well. But do I go with 2 or 3-0? I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say 3-0. Uh, Wales versus Turkey. Turkey lately under their new manager have been playing well. To go to Cardiff won't be easy as well. Especially the fact that they beat Croatia. My thinking is this game is going to be a 1-1 draw. And now let's go to Group I. We'll st we're starting with Andorra versus Israel. I'm going for 3-1 win for Israel. Kosovo versus Belarus. Romania versus Switzerland. Impressive from Romania to get that draw in Switzerland. And Switzerland have shown um, that they can have some bad results here and there. I'll go with a tight 2-1 win. So there we have it. These were my predictions for or match day 10. What do you think? Let me know who your scores and what you thought of my predictions. This is the last qualifiers. The Euro's coming up soon. And until next time, see you in the next video.